South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff say North Korea has fired what appears to be multiple ground-to-ship missiles off the country's east coast. According to the South Korean military, the missiles were launched Thursday morning from North Korea's coastal city of Wonsan. Jason Struther, a freelance reporter living in Seoul, joins me now on the phone. So, Jason, what are you hearing about these missiles? Right. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff say uh, North Korea shot several unidentified projectiles. They believe them to be uh, surface-to-ship uh, missiles, so surface-to-sea missiles, possibly cruise missiles. Uh, they traveled about 200 kilometers, uh, which I think is just around 100, just under 100 miles or so. And so tell us about these kinds of missiles. Uh, these are different uh, from missiles that have been fired in previous, uh, the most recent launches. Right. These are most likely short-range missiles. Uh, they uh, they pose no threat to America, to North America, or U or U.S. bases in Japan. But of course, uh, these types of short-range rockets are well in range of the South Korean capital Seoul. Uh, however, what really concerns the U.S. right now is North Korea's long-range missile program. We've seen uh, several tests this year, including three just in the past month, of what appears to be medium-range rockets. Again, not able to strike the U.S., but it's, it is a sign that the North is progressing in its missile development program. And this is the fourth missile test by North Korea since South Korea's President Moon took office on May 10th. Has there been a response from President Moon? Well, you know, I, coming into office, President Moon wanted, called for better relations with North Korea. For the past 10 years under conservative leadership here, uh, relations were, were pretty much null. Nothing was going on between North and South Korea. Moon came in it's ostensibly offering an olive branch, but has been met with these missile salvos uh, since he took office at the beginning of May. Uh, and he has responded not unlike his conservative predecessors. He's condemned Pyongyang's actions. He's called uh, for hearings at the U.N. Security Council. Uh, of course, Pyongyang has responded by, by denying Moon any attempt to uh, have a civilian exchanges between North and South Korea. Uh, so still tensions or at least relations between North and South Korea are still very cold. And Jason, I wonder when these kinds of missile launches happen, what is the reaction among people in South Korea? And South Koreans go about their day like nothing happened. You know, you have to remember uh, South Koreans, especially here in Seoul, they've lived under the barrel of North Korea for many decades. Uh, many people remember when the Korean War happened back in the early 1950s. So North Korea shooting several missiles into the Sea of Japan, uh, it really faces no one here. All right, Jason Struther in Seoul. Jason, thanks very much. Thank you.